up, what's up? It's your boy Sean Garrett, a.k.a. The Pen Man, hollering at my man Bootleg Kev all day, every day. You heard me? Sean Garrett in the building! Woo! In the building, what's happening? All right, so Sean, uh, this your first time in Vegas? I'd assume not. Nah, I've been to Vegas a lot of times, but you know, it's my first time up here, man. You That's know what's Vegas. up, man. Well, well you know, we're, we're glad we have you here. You're um, A lot of people don't know this, man. You've written like... So many, I was looking at your Wikipedia, I'm very impressed, man, you have quite the catalog of songs. Why don't you tell some of the people some of the songs you've written? Let's start real quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, my first uh, first number one record, man, was uh, Yeah for my man Usher. My second number one was Goodies for Sierra. My, How's that joint? Yeah, man, my third number one was uh, Soldier for Destiny's Child. Fourth okay. number one was uh, Run It for Chris Brown. Oh my goodness! What up, Chris? Uh, my fifth number one was Check Up On It for Beyonce. And you know, on the B Day album, I did Check Up, or oh, I did um, Get Me Bodied, Upgrade You, Ring Me Along. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> Man, my you, like, you know. Um, and then I also did Diva, which is another number oh. one for last year. And then, um, so in other words, Sean Ridge. Garrett is, is good. Yeah, and Mario. Good. <laughs> He's good right now. Yeah, yeah Mario, me, Mario, and Gucci, man. Um, <laughs> oh, you, know you did break, break up? up? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. I was on that record. You know now, that actually was my that was gonna be my next single off my off my album uh when I had my deal at um Interscope. But that's what I was gonna ask you like <coughs> do you ever write songs and like they end up going to somebody else but you you, you wanted to keep them and you know, it's just like <laughs> Yeah, it gets like that sometimes but you know It's a I'm, dilemma, it's like okay I'm an artist and this song is a smash. But I need this. <laughs> yeah, you know. How do you make that decision? Like what goes to the other people? I mean, do you write stuff specifically for artists or um, you know, at this point, it's you know it's definitely a little bit more difficult because before I wasn't really as focused on my artist right. stuff. I was definitely focused on just becoming one of the biggest songwriters in the world. You know, what I'm saying songwriter producers in the world. So, you know, um, after my I just had my 17 number one record, which is Papers for Usher. Usher, yeah. And um, you know, I probably had like 38 top tens, yeah, 38 or 42. Insane. I forgot what the number was. But, you know, I'm definitely um, at a point right now. I was a, what's so interesting is that I was an artist before I even became Sean Garrett the Pen. Right. And I actually didn't, um, I wasn't really interested in writing for other people. I didn't want to do that right. at all, as a matter of fact. But it sort of, um, it sort of became my job after. What, what was um, like the, the break, like your first break as a songwriter that, that kind of pushed you in that direction more? Poop poops, poop poops. <laughs> yeah, but that, that was, you know the, I mean? was like the biggest song radio spin wise, I think, of the, the, that decade. Yes, yeah, the number two, yeah, it's the number two record of the decade, you know, yeah. 2010 from, from the 2000s. Yeah. 2000, 2010. But that actually, um, I had signed my deal, my publishing deal, probably three months prior to that. Mm -hmm. So I was really fortunate, man, and then I just had a string of hits and it just didn't stop. and didn't stop and it didn't stop it's like my sixth year you know what i'm saying so i'm very very happy and excited you know what i'm saying just did my new deal with columbia and i'm still doing you know still doing what i do man i'm just now people getting a chance to see a 360 you get a chance to see me perform yeah and write and produce and entertain and you know so many other things that we actually doing too um you know i'm an actor you know what i'm saying I'm getting into my acting stuff you know what i'm saying i got a new tv show coming um, tv acting songwriting music music you know that's what I'm talking about. 360, brother. Yeah, he does everything. <laughs> so who would you like to work with next? That you have who would I like to work with? Um, Top three. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, Little be the bass god. <laughs> <laughs> Swag. I'm joking. <laughs> um, I probably would say, from a, on the pop side, I, I really want to do some, so I want to change pop music. Because I don't like, I, I think pop music is boring right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's all getting to sound the same. Yeah, so I want to do, um, I want to do something monstrous again, you know, from a pop perspective. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, I like, um, <coughs> art, it's the difference in what I like versus what I want to do. Right. I love Adele, you know what I'm saying? I love oh, her yeah. voice, you know what I'm Definitely. saying? I think she's beautiful. Um, but I think from a creative perspective... I just want to break new artists, right. you know what I'm saying? I, I really get a big kick out of just breaking something new, and they're like, hey, who did that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Sean Garrett did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, um, a record that I did that I probably show y'all didn't know I did was Diddy's um, Loving You No More. Oh, yeah. His, um, which is on his new album. 
And um, I always find that to be really interesting when people don't know if it's, I did a record. That's a slept on album too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that, that album is mad. It's it's madness. Yeah, that's a dope album. You know, Diddy did his thing. Shout out to Diddy. He in Atlanta. The, no, he's in uh, New York performing tonight. He got a, uh, he's on tour. That's what it is. Now, yeah. um, now that you're you're doing the solo artist thing, uh, you got the the first single with with J Cole. Yeah, man. One of my um, favorite rappers. Solo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my man J Cole. Who's he's ridiculous. Incredible. You know ridiculous. What I'm saying? Definitely incredible. But this song, man, has done. An incredible, incredible job for me. Yeah. Um, it's just really sort of spread wide and gotten a lot of fans. Um, it sort of snuck up on people. I no, feel definitely, like definitely. because at a time like this, it's not really cool to be like saying "I love you" or "I'm in love." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Admitting that you're in love. And um, that's me. That's me as an artist. Sometimes I sort of take the, I sort of, I sort of take the long route and say the things that people won't say and do the things that people don't think is necessarily cool. But to me, it's about integrity and what's real. So, you know, that's a real love song from my heart, you know what I'm saying? And I think sometimes people take for granted what's real. Like, they think if you're a man and you speak love, then you're soft. And as you can see, I think you're talking to Lucy's pants off right now. She's she's oh, about. I, I think you're making her fall in love right now. You good over there, man. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to ask you, um, like as a songwriter, of course, there's all the hits. Has there ever been a song that you that you, you've written and put out that that kind of like, I guess, disappointed you how it did? Yeah. Uh, like I mean, I, the, the song that comes to mind for me, like that everyone thought was going to be blow up, mm -hmm. was the Nicki Minaj with Massive Attack. Did, did, did that, that kind of, like, I mean, how did you feel about that record? I felt like, well, I knew when we were doing the record that, see, that record came too early, Yeah. actually. You know what I'm saying? That record would have came, like, after. It was a great video, that man. Yeah, the video was still. Had a lot of lonely time with that video. I think. Uh, not, oh. not your parts, of course. <laughs> All right. Her parts. <laughs> pause. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold the pause. <laughs> hold the pause. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> um. You know what? I probably, you know, like I think I think Nicki is a super duper talent, and that record was it did what it was supposed to do. I think it was more of a visual record anyway. Yeah. And and Nicki's approach to that, you know, she's like very um, Nicki's very like even the records that she got out right now. I think moment for life if she came with that first I, I feel like that would have probably people would have been acting different too yeah because she, you know her album was a total different direction than what people had known her for definitely, you know what I'm saying so was. I mean you know sometimes you know every record don't go number one right but I'm still that dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, look, I man, still hold a belt. I, and that's I, a challenge. I, to, I recognize that you are that dude. Yeah, that's that's a challenge. I had no you know idea that how much of the dude that you were yeah, until you, know you came here and just broke it down. We do hits, man. You know, and I mean, I just you know not bragging or nothing like that. No, brag, but, but just no, I'm swag not. on him, son. <laughs> <laughs> but real talk, like you know what I'm saying? Like any when people don't, you just gotta Google me and really check them hits no, out and see what how how much work we put in. Over the last six and almost oh, and, seven and, and years, to be, and to be fair, like a lot, like like you're just kind of put yourself out there. I mean, yeah. a lot of the people who have been writing songs like The Dream and Neo, they you know they they've been out in the you know in the spotlight as as artists for mm -hmm. a long time. You know, you're 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 kind of a new artist by your like yeah, I'm soul definitely artist. a new artist. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to be bona fide. Like I feel like I didn't have to. I felt like I know I'm really really talented as an artist just as talented as I am as a songwriter producer and I went through the thing the same <coughs> things that I'm going through now as a new artist I had to go through as a songwriter right. it's like people question you people doubt you people say yo you not this you not that until you prove them wrong like I had I all the executives that I saw when I played them yeah before yeah and they were like nah that's not a hit <laughs> you're, you're, when I look at them again, <laughs> I see them six years later now, and every time I look at that, look at them, there's a twinkle in my eye. I'm sure they they notice, and it's just a grin. Like, hi guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So this is put Juicy on the spot. She was looking at your pictures on Google Images, mm. and there was one picture you didn't have a shirt on, and it was like up on her screen for like. What's up, Juicy? Don't tell like, him. Ten minutes. <laughs> so yeah, so Sean, um, do you have any dirt on Beyonce's new album, and are you helping her? on this new album. Do you know anything? Yeah, what's the word with Beyonce? Come on, you know, first of all, nah, I can't, I mean, I'm definitely, you know I'm working with her. You are working you know with her on the new album. I did, you know, I did nine songs on Desi's Fulfill, did 
did six songs on B-Day. You gotta do at least some. You know, I did two songs on the last album. One of them was a number one. And she's my favorite artist. Of she's course. And artist. her husband named me the pen. Are uh-huh. we kidding? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's Jay-Z all the dirt I could pen. give you. That's, that's enough. You right? retired, man. Jay Z no. gave you a nickname. Come on, man. Retiring. That's amazing. I gotta get. Let me tell you. My nickname is Bootleg Kev. <laughs> Your nickname is The Pen. Right. Come on, son. I need the same level. That's right. That's right. Props, props, props to you, Sean Garrett. <laughs> I got hey, my name by selling you, fake too. shoes at the swap meet. You got your name by writing 17. But well, look at you now. You're right. Look at you now. now. I'm getting paper. You know what I'm saying? You're getting paper. A little bit of paper. All right, so uh, let's talk about the solo album, man. Um, of course, you had a single with, with J. Cole. Got the new single. Yeah, with, uh, Phil Loss is the first single. Um, now, the second single, we get into the business. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. We, we pull that first layer off. You know what I'm saying? Just like to, an onion. Just to warm them up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now... It's game time. You know what I'm saying? We're getting back to the clubs. Had to call my big homie. And I'm going to call out a whole bunch of big homies for this album, of course. But I had to call out one of the big homies, Rick Ross. And um, this record right here is Ferocious, man. It's called In the Box, ladies. If you don't know what I mean when I say In the Box. Mm. You ever been in that position? You ever been in that... Can I say this? Say whatever you want. You ever been in that position where, you know... You got a girl up up against the wall or whatever, and she can't move. Literally, literally up against the literally. wall. Literally. Okay. We're not talking about domestic <laughs> violence situations, you know, right? Do you I know, do. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do, Mr. I'm Garrett. Talking about, I'm she talking knows. About this, I'm talking about a situation where you can't breathe. You know what I'm it Where it just... <laughs> you know what I mean? One thing, kept Women, you only got to... You could just... You don't have to say nothing. Just... She know what that is. There's no... All right. Oh, that noise? She got it. Yeah, you know well, let noise. me ask her. Juice, do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> this noise right here? I just want to make... No, not like that. that oh, that's that's, that's like, not, that's not that? in the box. That right there is in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, hey, look. I don't, I don't, I don't clearly don't know as much about ladies as you tonight. I'm, Bootleg, I'm, come I'm on, man. To, I might have to scoop some of the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got a cup. See, there has to be a cup to that sound. You understand? It's... Hey, speaking of ladies, the guns are first. Hold on, stop, man. You keep interrupting me. That's what the problem is. You know what I mean? Ladies, I'm trying to give I'm trying to give Bootleg some serious game here. I need it. He's cutting me off. Okay. I'm going. And he's going. Okay. What the Okay. <laughs> like the Zulu Zulu Nation war chant. Class. That's right, man. <laughs> there it is. Cut hey, that thing, man. Just so we know, um, you are of course you're a big figure, uh, any what is like two or three chicks in the game that you would you wouldn't mind um smashing smashing man hmm. I'm sure you've already smashed a bunch of them I mean clearly I mean I, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a pause I would definitely uh, yeah, let that one through you're a very famous <laughs> artist look, you what you should do if I was you I don't know but yeah I'm a douchebag you know what hey check this out I'm, you know we good you know what I'm saying it's, it's, I'm like look sweetheart I'll write you a song it's a good it's a good it's, it's a good place to be in you know? it is a good place to be in but, but what, what's, what's like one chick that, that you that, you know that, that you would holler at I think um there's some very sexy sexy ladies out there, there are some sexy ladies personally myself I'm Rosa Costa all the way oh Ro- that's my friend though that's your friend <laughs> that's my homegirl what's friend mean just is it does it mean friend or does it mean friend Listen to this. <laughs> Hi, Rosa. <laughs> Sean Gary, you're my hero. That tells you what's that's, going that on. That tells me everything. You are my hero. Yo, that's my own girl. All right, we're going to get into this new record with Rick Ross. It's called In the Box. In the Box. We just got the breakdown on what that means. She like to call me B. 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 That's B. right. Baby, when I got it in the box. Sean Gary.